never know. No, it's it's gonna look like it, one of the others. No, it was supposed to look like the opponent's character or something, but I don't they never implemented it. Oh that's funny. It'd be funny if they say, Oh yeah, some of those Pokemon are dittos, but you can't tell them apart. <laughs> that would be kinda funny. That'd be really funny. Alright. No, so we got some right. six spacing from Wizrobe. And that's oh, it. Down throw knee. Pretty hard to DI out of most buffs, you know, get hit by that. Yeah, and even if... W and by most, I mean 99.9 .9 out of percent. And even when need doesn't work, um, up air will. And I'm pretty sure Wiz Wizzy will, like, adjust for yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Oh, getting caught by the... Okay. Wizard really good at finding these grabs versus Puff. Although, I, I would like to see Smack the Frog crouch a little bit more, because, like, it's such a good tool in neutral, like... You should use it. <laughs> just, just another thing of Puff where I'm like, how, how did that exist? Just crouching. I mean, she, I think Sheik's the weirdest one. She's so tall, and then she goes so flat. She gets low. It, she does get low. And that, was that a nipple? I don't know. I, I feel like you should have. It didn't look like the angle of a, a like nipple spike. The only other character that gets something out of crouch is Kirby. Yeah, it's true. They're, and they're very similar looking characters, and that was a four stock. Oh, yeah. Smack a fast one, too. I mean, go, give it out to the puff for not playing lame. <laughs> Wizrobe has so much puff practice, too. Or not practice, but so much puff preparation, I would rather say. Oh, I'm sure. I mean, when you have to. When you have H Box literally looming. Yeah. Just looming. That's all he does. He just looms. You just, like, you make your career by being able to be a, a hungry box in this game. If someone was able to just be like a hungry box counter, they I would just immediately be like a big name. I'm pretty sure every TO would just purposely seed them too. Oh my gosh, they would. It would be blatant too. It's like if you ever go to a major, you see the ice climbers have to play four she or four peaches in a row every time. Oh, it's blatant. Oh, it's wow. blatant. <laughs> but anyway, there's no collusion here. Oh. Optic Arena, honest. Yeah, uh, yeah. Tuesday's an honest guy. Honest uh, seeding, honest bracket formation. Dreamland though, a lot of space. That's the cliche that we people say about Dreamland, but it's true. And in this matchup, it's actually like completely irrelevant. <laughs> I feel like yeah, it, matches get prolonged helps, on the stage. It helps them both so much. It helps Puff more. I mean, Falcons always want just want to go battlefield. Yeah, well, that's true. I'd say 99% of the Falcons. Mm -hmm. There's like a weird 1% that really likes some other stages. Well, I wonder how FD is in this state in this uh, matchup because I feel like FD in general is just so bad for Puff all around. It's such a weird stage where it's like, on one hand it's bad, on the other hand it's like, you can't just like easily just jump over her back air, you know, using platforms and stuff. Mm -hmm. Stomp the yard. Oh, he's got it. Oh, he didn't oh. go for it. I would have oh, gone for it just ooh. to send a message. That was actually a really good wave dash back to wait for the get up attack, and mm -hmm. then he just didn't punish. He could have forward smashed, I think. I mean, probably could have done other stuff too. Yeah. Oh, uh, you shouldn't go low. No reason to go low. Yep. So that's it for Smacky the Frog and his winner's run. Um, yeah. Taken out by Wizrobe. What was that, semis? All right, he's still in losers. And even if he gets knocked out in losers, I'm sure people are going to ask him to warm up later.